Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now I said that the next video, like after the previous one, was probably going to be the start of my challenge runs that our users submitted, but I changed my mind. Instead we're just going to do another standard run, I'm going to pick random, and it's going to be Samson, apparently. You know, not a very major run- oh god, it's an XL floor, I can't have this! Alright, so we still gonna play as Samson? No, we're gonna play as Blue Baby instead. That just said, well, fuck you, game! We're like, fuck you, Bonga, you wanted to go with the, uh, another standard run without XL? Well, you're gonna get Blue Baby then! But at least I'll pick up the Game Kit instead, even though it's useless on Blue Baby. You can only just use it for the invincibility, but that's it. He's not gonna be able to get any soul hearts gained from it, because Game Kit only gives you red hearts. And that's terrible for Blue Baby. Tears Up is not terrible, though. Curse Rooms are obviously out of the question due to Blue Baby's, well, innate ability to never have red hearts. Disappointing, but we'll make it work. You can really take advantage of the Polaroid, which is nice, but right now I just need to find some bombs. If I can find a Blood Bank, then I can just use the Game Kid or the Self-Sacrifice Room. But until I find those things, then, well, I'm obviously not going to take advantage of them. Because there's really no point in jeopardizing my health at this point. It seemed like a very redundant sentence, but I just said it the way I wanted to say it. The way it came out naturally. So obviously Pin's going to be very easy, and seeing as how I did pick up that Tears Up pill, that was a very nice pickup from within the first couple rooms of Cellar 1. Now let's just see if we can actually get better stuff, like maybe a damage up, maybe more of a tears up, some HP upgrades, or even anything that can give me some use. Like give me another advantage, so to speak. I guess getting HP upgrades is not that bad, because I'm obviously going to need more. Well, that's HP plus damage, so that's very nice. Unfortunately, I cannot get to that tint of rock unless I find a bomb. Let's see if we can find one here. Well, it's explosive, but it doesn't count. I can't just take the TNT barrel and bring it with me to another couple rooms. That's not how it works. Man, unfortunately, I'm gonna have like zero money. Zero bombs, only one key through this one floor. Okay, one cent. That makes up for everything. Man, that's just ridiculous, getting like barely any item drops at all. What happened? Did I get like... Did I just huff up like nine bat luck down pills on the way? Like what happened? To just get literally nothing except for one cent, half a red heart, and a tint of rock that I can't access. It's garbage. I don't even want to open that unless I get another key. Let's just leave that alone. Okay, so this is where the game kit can shine. I'd rather, like, use the game kit now. As opposed to, like, taking out this enemy and then using the game kit. Well, think of it this way. If I do it now, then I'll just get a free charge for this one room. Unfortunately, game kit is looking like a six-room charge item. That's very disappointing because it looks like I won't be able to use it again for this floor. I mean, Chapter 1 is known for being very short. Room-wise, that is. In any case, at least I can take advantage of these two champions. And take great liberties with them. All they give me is money. That doesn't really help that much in the grand scheme of things. It makes the shop a little bit more promising, but I think I'd rather go to the item room first. If I can get another key, that'll be awesome. If I can't, then, well, I'll just have to live with it. Oh, finally get a bomb. Eh, let's take on the boss first. And it's gonna be Gertie Jr. Not really something I was looking forward to, but... So be it. Just bring Gertie Jr. to that second phase as soon as possible, which is around half health. Then I won't have to worry about the shots or the uh, flies. Some people say it's the charge that's a bit of a problem. For me, it's the flies. Because you have to deal with them while they're shooting at you, and you're going to try to dodge Gertie Jr.'s body. But you might actually get hit by a fly shot instead. At this point, it's been Gertie Jr., and it's 
very tiny arms. Just nothing to worry about. All right, Squeezy. There's an extra tiers, more HP. And none of these appeal to me in any way whatsoever. Why would I take Guppy's tail if I only have one key? That would be just utterly stupid. But, the secret room could possibly be here. It's not. Well, I'll take the damage up, I suppose. I didn't even go to the item room, did I? Silly me. What was I thinking? <sighs> Maybe missing out on the item room before I got to the boss was a little bit of a warning. Say, don't go here! You're only gonna get Lemon Mishap! If only I listened to myself, even though I wasn't really telling myself to do that! <laughs> Oh, maybe I will get another charge of game kid if that next room has enemies. So that'll be awesome. Nah, it's then well to the next floor we go, I suppose. There's no real reason to look for the secret room. But the one obvious spot to look didn't have it. Right now I can't think of anywhere else. Oh my god, these spiders. Them spiders won't leave me alone. Alright, two bombs. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like there is another spot for the secret room, and it's just to the left of here. Take care of all this stuff here, and then I'll just fire off a bomb. And here we go. Ooh! 7 plus 15. Wow, 22 cents! Now, if only I could get to the shop. That would be amazing. Especially if that shop happens to have a candle, a map, a compass, God knows what else. Unfortunately, since the secret room is not in that little eye, I can't open it. There's no more keys. Oh, well, this blood bank served its purpose for a time. Get my soul heart, some extra money, and uh, I guess it's down to the next floor. I don't think there was a tinted rock that I missed, was there? I, I don't think so. Like, if anything, it could be down here. I didn't miss it. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't want people to be, like, sending me, like, firebombs because I missed the Tinted Rock. <laughs> That'd be something for the 6 o'clock news, like, some local Newfoundlander got murdered for missing a Tinted Rock in a PC indie game. In other news! <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh my god, gold chests anywhere. I could have swore I never picked up Gubby's tail. Did I? Okay, good. I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Is the game just giving me gold chests all the goddamn time? I would prefer some keys. Is that too much to ask? This is becoming a common theme nowadays, other than... Oh god, I hate this room. That seems to be a common theme as well. Like, rooms for me to hate. It's like, I would be a very bad home designer because, I, well, I hate this room. Okay, what do you think of the armoire? Well, I hate this too. HGTV would just fire me in a heartbeat because I hate everything about these rooms. All oh, the bean? No. What the Game Kid? Game Kid serves better purpose. I might as well just explore. I mean, I don't have to be in these rooms for too long because I had, I do a nice chunk of damage by way of meat and the small rock. However, it's still gonna be very slow going. Oh god. Yep, I knew it. Oh my god. You can't be serious. These silkworms are still a pain in the ass because they took one full soul art from me. I thought I was doing okay with damage and then this happens. Well, not this room. I mean, this room's okay because I can take care of the host with no problem whatsoever. It's the damn silkworms. I mean, what are they made of? Like, do they go to the gym and make their silkworm skin so thick? What up with that? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna save this key for the shop. That's the game plan. Was the secret room over here? Let's find out. Unicorn horn? Well, technically, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go with the unicorn horn then. Like I said, it doesn't make a difference, but I might as well just roll with it. 
because who knows, it might come in handy. At least it's a full charge I got on it. So really, all I did was just recharge my game kit for free. I'll buy the bomb. I'll buy the key. I'll buy a soul heart. I'm tempted, uh, believe it or not, I'm actually tempted to buy a portable slot machine. Y you know what? Let's just get crazy. I'm actually going to buy it. Because who knows, it might actually drop some keys for me. I'll probably play it to at least 15 cents. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. We'll see. It's actually very tempting to take with me the rest of the way. But the next floor could have an arcade, so what's the point? Come on, one key, please. Just one key. Well, pretty fly. Well, that actually paid for itself. Okay. And... that's done. So, it was seven cents, but it actually paid back some money. Gave me a pretty fly. Gave me some extra bombs. I felt that was a worthwhile investment. So, let's take on the boss. And it's gonna be Gertie. Not really a fan of Gertie. I mean, it's an easy boss. I think the nubs just give me more trouble than Gertie herself. It's just that it's a fight that takes so long. It's ridiculous. It's like watching paint dry and then crying at it. That's all it is. That is all what Gertie is worth. It's not meant to be a tough boss. It's just there to be a wall that shoots at you and spawns flies and nubs. That's it. It's nothing special about Gertie at all. It's a major time waster. I would have preferred to fight the Fallen. Maybe even Headless Horseman just to get the pony. But in any case, I'll just take the free Soul Heart and the HP upgrade. Like, if you're gonna give me a Soul Heart, I mean, why don't you give me an HP upgrade? That sounds redundant. Okay, I'm gonna buy the key. I'm not gonna buy the coin purse. I'm gonna see what this pill is, so. Health down. Wow, I immediately regret it. Well, there goes that HP upgrade I got from Gertie. I told you I should have got something else. Even though that I kind of did break even at that point. But whatever. Oh, look at that nubby stuck. No. I gotta get close. Just don't fire close to me. There. I missed only as well three cents. Eh, whatever. At least the portable slot machine did give me that pretty flood, which will come in handy against Isaac and Blue Baby. Like, of course, I would want more than just a fat fly. Like, give me Guardian Angel. Give me Cuban Meat. Give me Sacrificial Dagger. Give me pretty much anything. Like a hand job. But well, not a hand job, because hand jobs will not help me in this game, plus they're not in this game. Well, there's a left hand. But I don't have that unlocked yet. You have to find Ultra Pride. Surprisingly, I never found that Sin boss yet. Which blows my mind, because on my first save file, I ran into Ultra Pride a lot. Especially in the challenge runs. He kept showing up in pretty much almost every secret room I could find. But maybe, maybe not in the secret room, just the mid-boss room. But, but anyway, let's see what's in this item room, and it's gonna be... Hey! Magic Mushroom! That's an all stats up. And it actually makes you bigger. I like that. Ah, things are starting to look up stat wise. I think this is the first time I actually picked up Magic Mushroom in this Let's Play, which is really good news, not just for my collection, but to make me an overall better character. Like, you know, SMB Superfan is a good all stats up, but it actually drops your speed. And the Halo, I don't think covers every single stat. I could be wrong, but I could also be right. Just fill me in if you already know the specific stats of the Halo. If that matters to you. And to some people, it kinda does. Uh, I'd like to get that Soul Heart without wasting a key on the chest. Let's go crazy with a Unicorn Horn, yeah! I meant to get a use there. For some reason, I just didn't rub into it the right way. That sounds like very awkward for failing intercourse. Well, now I don't feel bad about possibly wasting a key here. Give me another one, an extra money. So that paid out for itself. 
might stick around for Skatol, but really, I've already done all I need to do. It doesn't really matter if I beat the chest or not. Right now, I just want to have a bit of fun with it. Like, I've given myself a moderate chance of success by way of getting the magic mushroom and god knows what else. Unicorn horn's alright. Not the spacebar item I want to roll with for the rest of the game, because really, it only charges so slowly. So really, I just want to play casually, have a bit of fun. I'm not here to succeed all the time. I'm probably going to have lots of runs where I fail, especially the user-submitted challenge runs that I hope to get plenty of from you guys later on. Sometime down the road. And there's probably going to be lots of fail there as well. Especially if most of you suggest, like, my reflection Ipecac. For some reason, a lot of people want to use that for a challenge run base all the time because it is so goddamn difficult. But anyways, we'll just see how we fare here first. But I would love to try some of your challenge runs. And I'll definitely get to that sometime when I ever get them. Because right now I'm recording this video before I even mention the challenge runs. In case you're wondering. But in any case... I'm just hoping to get another key. I'm still a bit short on keys. That's pretty much the common theme in the Binding of Isaac lately. Unless I get Flat Penny or Skeleton Key, then I'm going to be very short on keys. I kind of wish that Portable Slot Machine would show up more often, or a regular Slot Machine. Well, there was a Slot Machine back there in the arcade, but I don't want to spend so much time at it. Pageant Boy? Fine. It's not really what I was looking to find in the Boss Trap Room, because all it is is just money. And I think increases the likelihood of money being dropped in other rooms. It doesn't seem that great of an item. Like, I would have preferred, like, a damage up or tears up. Even Cattle Ninetales could have been somewhat alright. I would like to see if there's a self-sacrifice room around, since I do have a full unicorn charge. Beautiful. Well, net gain of only one cent, and uh, if you're on the poverty line, one cent is perfect. Or just pity. Ah, just a husk. Speaking of pity! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be easy. The only thing that's gonna be an issue are the rocks, and poss whoa, possibly the spiders. Not anymore! Oh, speaking of Cat Nine Tails. I bet I didn't get a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel. Ah, oh, curse of darkness. That's not what I was hoping for. Even though I never said it out loud. Game, you should have read my mind. You usually do. And here we get D6? Hmm. Do I want to re-roll the unicorn horn? It served me well. Let's do it. Wow, that actually gave me a good item right off the bat. Now I don't have to worry about secret rooms here in Curse of Darkness. Beautiful. Well, thanks for helping me get to... Whoa. Ah, oh, that actually helped out. Thanks. Don't want to use that key, though. Ah, oh, super greed. My game! We had such a good time when you gave me the X-ray vision, and now you throw me a secret room that had super greed? Like, fuck you too, man! And this card is the Joker! Wow, all is forgiven! I like the Joker card, let's use it. And we get Guardian Angel! I did mention I was looking for Guardian Angel before! So the game actually does read my mind! That's actually kind of scary. It's like, if I think about wanting to take a piss, is the next item gonna be Lemon Mishap? If so, man, I don't know. Or even number one. Well, if it's number one, I would take it, because even though it gives me shitty range, it does give me a very good tier stat. But that would still be very creepy if I actually knew I wanted that. Well, I never want number one. Or Lemon Mishap, for that matter. But you know what I mean. At least I hope you do. Because I don't really want to explain it. Anytime I have to explain, like, urination items in any kind of context, it just makes me feel so awkward. 
At least there's the top secret room. Hopefully it has something good, maybe Eternal Heart or a red chest, which has bills. Rage up, nice. And this is bag ass. Meh, whatever. At least I got a range up out of that. Looks like I'm gonna be getting deals with the angel more often, which is all right, because I mean, I like deals with the angel. They only give you one choice, but oftentimes it's a pretty good item, like Guardian Angel, the Mitre, the Relic. Scapular is a bit meh. The Bible is kind of garbage, because at this point you can pretty much beat Mom with relative ease. And maybe you'll have flying at that point, but it's only for that one room. Dead Dove is good too, it basically functions like the holy version of Spirit of the Night. Like it gives you flying and spectral tears. Well, what's another Bible item? Oh, Blood of the Martyr, that's pretty good. The Halo, Holy Water, no, not Holy Water. Holy Grail is good. And Sacred Heart, if you can get that, you're gonna be golden. Still haven't got Sacred Heart in this Let's Play yet. Where you been at? I really need you. I need to showcase your true power! For all these people on the YouTubes that haven't seen Sacred Art in action. Unless you're using Cheat Engine, it's very hard to do because Sacred Art is so rare! I can understand why, because Sacred Heart is a very powerful tier effect. Like, it's slow homing tiers that are high damage. Very high damage. Oh, the Fallen! Nice! Beautiful. If I get the D6, I'll have to do that again with, a, whoa, with another deal with the Angel and see if I can actually get Sacred Heart. Depending on what item is there to pick up. Like if it's the Mitre or the Relic, I'll probably take those items instead, because they're very good. Let's see what we get from the Fallen. Hopefully it's good. Uh, Guppy's Head? Not good. Reroll. The Mark. Very good. Awesome. Down to the next floor. I'll use my key and it gives me a PhD! Awesome! So that health down pill, if I find it again, it's gonna be health up. I think I'm starting to get very lucky here. This is turning out to be a fast run, even though it doesn't seem that way. I mean, 22 and a half minutes in Acropolis 2. It is a bit lengthy, I know, but I'm doing my best here. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be able to take advantage of that blood bank. <laughs> But, that's okay. It's not like Blue Baby can really exploit blood banks anyway. Can't believe I got hit there. Ah, Demon Judgment. You know, I love to play you, but since you take away my soul hearts, you're not worth my time. I gotta, like, think about the uh, high risk, high reward here. And since I'm playing as Blue Baby, like, the risk to my soul hearts is far greater. I'm sure you guys understand. Alright, so far so good. That bomb leech gave me a soul heart, which I'm very happy about. Whoa. This room is not too... Oh my god, the uh, knockback actually put, pushed the vis down. That's why I still got hit there. Gonna burn me, but I'll live with it. Oh, Steven! That's another damage up! Wow! Oh, man, this is great. I might still want to go to the shop, though. It might be a good idea to look around for that. So, why don't we head out to the other side of this floor? Take a look around. I mean, so far, so good. I mean, I've been getting good items. I wish I'd gotten PhD at a much earlier floor than a later one. But I mean, I'm not gonna complain because so far the items I have been getting were pretty solid. D6 will help out to some extent if I don't like the item I pick up. I think I'll just play these a couple times. I don't wanna play them too much. Okay, fine, I'll give up. You're the boss. It's your words, not mine. Now I'll play this one more time. Do a bombs? Could be good. Alright, I got a bomb and then I'll give you one for a tip. Fish head! Bit too late, because I'm gonna throw it away for the Polaroid once I defeat Mom. 
Well, I did see a trinket earlier that was the, uh... Was it the, uh, pinky eye? Or pinky eye? Was it pinky eye or pink eye? Well, anyways, it was just not that great of a trinket that's worth, what, a bomb? Ooh, an eternal heart, that's always worthwhile. I still haven't found the shop yet. Can't believe it's gonna be, like, all the way into the far end of this area. Not really a fan of this room because of the masks and hearts. Not to mention, I can't fly. That's another thing, I never even picked up any tarot cards either, except for the Joker. Like, that was the only card I picked up in this entire run, that's very weird. Usually you find tarot cards much sooner. I think the gold poop could be a nice help. Not a major one, but a health help, help nonetheless. There's the uh, mob trap room. Looks like I gotta go even further for the shop. That just blows my mind. Eh, that's not worth it. I'm just gonna go up here. Ah, okay, there's no enemies here on the way to the shop, and it's gonna be... Ooh! This could be worthwhile. I'll take mobs first. I'll take the range uphill. I'll buy the key, and then we'll leave. I could have re-rolled that to see if there would be a different item, but I felt that Mom's Purse could actually be a greater help than some people realize. Because then I could just take the Polaroid and another trinket. If it's Flat Penny or Mom's Pearl, that's all the better. Anything else, like maybe Fish Head, like maybe I won't get another trinket for the rest of the game other than the Polaroid, I'm good with that as well. Like I said, I don't want to play Demon Judgment. I think I'm just going to leave Face Mom right now and hope for the best. Luckily, I haven't had to use the D6 that much. Like, you might think it's bad because I'm just picking up a spacebar item that's hardly getting any use. But it's also good that I've been getting some good luck with items. In any case, Mom is going to drop rather quickly. Thanks for all the straight damage that I've been getting. It's just gorgeous. Okay, Mom's coin purse? Well, since I have the PhD, I might as well take it. Bad gas, that's not good. Tears up, that's good. And this, I don't know, and neither of this. Tears up, okay, because that... Originally, would have been in tears down. Bombs are key. I'm just gonna take with me. Now it's down to the next floor. And we're gonna freeze. Thanks, game. <laughs> you know, we've been having some good time, and you realize, oh, you gotta take a break, Bongo. So I'm just gonna freeze so that you can recollect everything, including your thoughts. Remember, you gotta take a shower after this video. Not that you smell dirty, but it's good hygiene, you know. Yes, game, I will take a shower when we're done. If you didn't freeze, I could have taken it sooner, because we'd be done sooner! Did you think of that? Did you really think I wanted to stare at Blue Baby just laying on its back, staring at porn on the ceiling? <laughs> Curse of Darkness again. It's like, screw you too, game. This is starting to turn into a love-hate relationship of all love-hate relationships. The Hollow keeps showing up, and that blows my mind. I thought the Hollow would just be afraid of me. It's like, I don't know, man, that's the same guy that dropped, like, one bomb and wiped two of me out. Safety cap? Well, it's better than the fish head. Greater chance of pills, and every pill is gonna be good or neutral. Why not? Now granted, the fish head could be pretty beneficial in terms of dealing damage whenever those blue flies come out. I just don't want to count on having to be hit for it to work. Like if it, I could just shoot out the blue flies like Mulligan does, I'd be great. But that's not the way it works. Well, I don't really like this. I can just go to the secret room right now, but then I'll have to leave and then come back. Well, maybe I won't have to come back. Speed and range? 
Let's re-roll. Ten extra bombs. Let me come back to that later. Slot machine. No. Pills. Yes. It's a range up. The ten extra bombs could be nice, but I just have the feeling that I could get something better if I just have a little patience. It's like, if you just drank wine right away, it's just gonna smell like somebody's athlete's foot from France, and nobody wants that. But if you wait a while, it's just gonna be a well-refined alcoholic drink. Think about it. You can't rush this stuff. And we're gonna re-roll and get skeleton keys, see? You thought I was gonna bite myself in the ass and get the poop! Wait, I can't get the poop because I already had the item. Or anything substantially worse. I got the skeleton key! Let's see, if I get more bombs, then I might consider the bombs are key pill. We'll see. Getting 99 keys is pretty awesome. Especially if you could get Guppy's tail. Which, damn it, which I've already passed up. But it'll still come back because it was never officially collected in this run. So there is a chance it could show up again, but to give up three soul hearts, I really have to think about that. But in any stretch of the imagination, Skeleton Key is very awesome to get. Oh, right, this was the dead end. Gotcha. Okay, I guess we're going down in this direction. I can live with that. Taking a couple dumb hits, but I'll live. Oh, damn it. I should have just used the bombs or key pill and then pick up the key. But then again, I think 11 bombs is okay, considering I don't really have to use them to look for secret rooms. And what are the odds of me having to use like all these bombs on Mon's heart if I already got like very good damage from my own shots? Which are very great in their own right. Still need to look for where the boss is, and so far I'm having very bad luck with this Curse of Darkness. Usually when I have Curse of Darkness, I manage to find what I'm looking for sooner. In this case, it's not happening. Oh my god, another dead end? Are you serious? At this point, I'm not even going to know where the dead ends are. I'm just going around in circles. Okay, there is the boss. I thought it was going to take much longer. But, nope. Not at all. And this boss is going to be uh, Daddy Long Legs. I like Daddy Long Legs. Like, for some reason, Daddy Long Legs is a late boss, but just doesn't have a ton of health. Meanwhile, like, Monstro 2, you, sh you see much sooner, and has a lot of HP. I have a feeling that they should have just been, like, switched up. HP upgrade would be nice, but I'm going to re-roll that. And immediately they regret it, so it's now down to the next floor. I just had some hopes that I'd get something else. I mean, an HP upgrade basically just functions as a regular soul heart. And I'm not really suffering for health. I mean, I do have the Polaroid to exploit its invincibility. I don't really think I can get my tears up any further. I'm practically a Gatling gun at this point. You know, with a big rock jammed into my head, and somebody else's head embedded into my head. That just seems like an after-night party gone horribly wrong. So, hey man, you got totally shit-faced. Well, how shit-faced? Well, for one thing, you have a giant stone in your cranium. And you headbutted some midget so hard that his head got decapitated stuck into yours. Really? But you did get that cute girl Isabella's number. That's pretty cool. Well, what's her number, man? I don't remember where I put it. I think the rock is actually embedded into the uh, memory lobe, and that's pretty shitty. Was she hot? Man, she had like nine boobs. Oh, well, in that case, I'm pretty glad I don't have her number, because I'm sure half of them are tumorous. Moving on! That was pretty much the weirdest tangent of all time. Then again, anal bee tapioca pudding is 
pretty much up there. Damn it, stop with the range ups. I want health ups. First world problems, I know. Okay, what is this pill again? I don't remember. Oh, it was tears up. Oh, tears up is okay. But, but my tears are already super high. Ugh! I don't think I can get them any higher, damn it. Okay, now I'm starting to see my soul hearts drop, and that really scares me. I didn't think they would drop so soon. Then again, I wasn't really collecting a lot of soul hearts, and I don't have a lot of items that can replenish them rather quickly. Usually you see the relic or the miter show up rather frequently, but that's not the case here. Liberty cap? No, I'm gonna pass on that. Sadly, this is another dead end. That's shitty. But I'm gonna do my best. I mean, I've gone through much worse. I mean, the purest run. Don't remind me of that. Even though I'm the one that mentioned it. Seriously, that run was just atrocious and a very bad nightmare. Not just to play, but to render. That took way too long. Kane's eye? Let's see. Nah, 10% chance for the uh, compass effect. I'm better off a Polaroid safety cap. I mean, if Kane's eye functioned as a compass 100% of the time rather than 10% of the time, I would have considered taking it and then bringing it back once I memorized all the room locations for that particular room, floor. But after that, you just don't want it anymore. And I didn't want that either. Uh, uh, not really a fan of this! Oh, thank god. Okay, where's mom's heart? I don't want to be in this particular room for t or floor for too long. So I'm taking a staggering number of hits and I should be taking. Thank god for that extra soul heart. Makes me feel a little better about myself. Seeing a boss trap room is going to have the same effect. Very nice. I thought there was a blast fly, not a bomb fly. Maybe Loki's backside was kind of mirroring it. The box? No, uh, stem cells. Yes, I'll take. I definitely needed an HP upgrade right there. Health up, pill. I, I need you more than ever. I can begin range up and tears up, but that's not what I'm looking for anymore. This needs something a little more to help me out when I keep taking all these hits. I only have like an orbital defense level of two. And even when I have an orbital defense of three, I still take a ton more hits than I would have liked. Okay, just hang out around here. You, you, I tend to do just fine against the hollow. That pattern is very easy to figure out. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? This was a dead end the whole time. So now we gotta go all the way back. I tend to do this a lot, going through every single dead end known to man. I'd probably be the best cartographer because I'd be finding every single dead end by fluke. It's like, well, Bongo over here puts a lot of detail into his maps. Well, that's because you don't know where the fuck he's going anymore. He just goes everywhere and finds nothing until the very last minute. No wonder his maps are that detailed. Well, I want to buy them anyway. And I'd be known as the saddest, like, 26-year-old in the world if I have a cartography business. All just for playing The Binding of Isaac. It blows my mind, I know. Oh, I think I just go north instead of south. At least I'm gonna draw Mom's heart rather quickly without even having to use my bombs. I mean, I can just use the bombs or key pill to replenish them. Just hope it don't have to come to that rather quickly. Okay, there we go. I think I'm just gonna leave Duke of Flies alone. He not bothering me. I'm not gonna bother him. 
Makes my life a little bit easier knowing there's still one weak boss hanging around. And off we go to the cathedral! Let's see how we fare rather quickly. Oh god. <sighs> Thank god there's only one of yous and not two of yous. I mean, I could just go to the secret room, come back, and just find a regular monster or two. But I'm already committed to whipping this guy's ass, so therefore I'll just take a free soul and leave. Speaking of soul hurts, I can really use some more than ever. Even if you just give me crystal ball after a couple uses, I can just fire it off here. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Wait. Polaroid tick? It could be an interesting combination. It'll save me like 15% of HP to deal with Isaac and Blue Baby. And I already got like a substantial good amount of pills. So Maggie's Faith could be good as well, but Eternal Hearts are very hard to protect. Two hearts, it's useless, so I'll just fire it off now. I think that's the thing. I think I actually will take Polaroid Tick. No, I said Polaroid Tick. Damn it! I really hope that this gets much better in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Like, maybe just put like a little list box and say, oh, here's one you could take. Rather than just have them all drop. Which takes like 500 million years to sort. Okay, this bicycle card could be good, and it's gonna be the Joker! Okay, I'll fire it off. Scapular, I don't want. The Mitre, that's actually good. I'll take it. Increased chance of soul hearts. And let me go back to uh, get the bombs or key pill. I will roll with Tick Polaroid probably for the rest of the game. Let's go. Unless I find a better trinket on the way to the chest. Man, these... This stat is so staggering. Man, I'm gonna have a very good chance here. Let me deal with these fistula nuggets before I focus on greed. I mean, as much as I want to get rid of greed now, the thing is, greed is more durable than the fistula nuggets. And these guys go down rather quickly, and then I can just focus on greed. Fortunately, this looks like the wrong way. So maybe I should just go west? Sadly, since I don't have flying, I'm gonna have to go for the- Whoa! The pony first! Or take out the helmet head, whatever comes first. You know, it doesn't really matter to me, as long as it's one last threat I can manage. The D6 could actually be very useful for the chest, because if I find like four bad items, I can reroll them all to get very good ones. Or substantially shittier items. Who knows? I don't want to use this. So let's see what's in the mob trap room. Nah, I'm gonna pass. Let's just go straight to Isaac. Fortunately, since I shoot rather fast, I'm gonna be dealing with a lot of counterattacks. But at least these hits are gonna do a nice bit of damage, and I'll get to the second phase quicker by way of the tick. Surprisingly, I'm saying the tick is useful at this point. But I just haven't found anything else that I could use. And that disappoints me. You know what? Let's just use the bombs or key pill. Because I can do much more with 99 bombs than 99 keys. I only need four keys! That's the bare minimum. I'm well above that. Isaac's almost down. At least I can still use the Polaroid, and when the Polaroid is active, just get real close. There we go, we're off to the chest rather quickly, which I'm very proud of. So let's see what we get here. Blood Rites, gonna reroll, Dead Bird, reroll, the Relic, not a reroll. Attack Fly, maybe? Or is that Distant Admiration? I don't know, I'm gonna reroll them anyway. Polyphemus, yes! Mr. Mega, yes! Wiggle Worm! No! <laughs> Probably gonna re-roll that as well. I mean, Wiggle Worm is not terrible, but really, if you're gonna get all this good stuff, why would 
<laughs> Wiggle Worm just fit in the whole mix. It's like, Polyphemus, Mr. Mega, Wiggle Worm. Like, Wiggle Worm is just that one person you would not invite to your party with all the jocks. And by jocks, I mean Polyphemus, Mr. Mega. I mean, they're the ones that fuck every cheerleader in the school. Enough said. Wiggle Worm just hangs out in the bleachers and gets accused of rape, even though she was the one who initiated the sexual contact. It's like, well, I don't like him, so I'm just gonna get him put in jail and have him register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. I'm gonna ruin his life. You know, that's Wiggle Worm for ya. Meanwhile, Polyphemus and Mr. Mega are living it up, even though they're gonna have criminal records by the time they're 25. Just beating up on careless senior citizens for no reason whatsoever. Because they think it's a cool thing to do. This room was not very cool, so... Let's see, I'm, I'll probably get another reroll after this room. Well, not this room, but the one after. Whether the secret room has greed or God knows what else. Oh, no sense, come on now. Toxic poop, come on now. Maybe I should just go east. This could be the way to Blue Baby or Dead End. Whatever comes first. Unfortunately, with my luck, it was the Dead End. There we go. So let's see what this bill is. That's a uh, range up, or no, tears up, tears up. Yep, there's tears up. Well, getting tears up while I have Polyphemus is pretty awesome. And we'll re-roll to get Poison Touch! Awesome! This could not have turned out any better. Maybe a mom's knife would have made it substantially better. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, I can't have, like, first world problems up the ass, even though it seems very promising! Oh my god! I mean, I got, like, Polyphemus, Mr. Mega, a staggering amount of damage. I got the Miter, Guardian Angel, Pretty fly. And now poison touch. Along with a Polaroid. It's like, what more can I ask for? I'm practically set. How did the wretched survive that? I have no idea. But man, this is just a very stacked run. Like, I'm really impressed with this. Unfortunately, these low keys are not helping, so it's just gonna make me stay a little bit longer than it should be. But you know what? We're gonna be okay? Because even if I get hit a lot by Blue Baby, the Poison Touch is just going to wreck him. There we go. Is this the way? Well, we don't know yet. Still up in the air. But we're making progress. Unless this is an actual... And in actuality, just a hub for dead ends, and that would feel really shitty. I don't even know why I went that way. It just seemed pretty obvious there would not be any more rooms at that junction. The north side, that is. It was worth a shot. Oh my god, that troll bomb just went off at that very instance I was on the fringe. Okay, I have a feeling we'll go this way. Still no clue yet. Unfortunately, one of them is greed. I hate greed. But everybody knows that. Who here likes greed in the Binding of Isaac? Really? Who would actually say, well, I, I like fighting greed because greed is actually my favorite sin? No, he's not! Little Chubby. Nice. Wow, this is a very high-powered run. I'm just doing a shit ton of damage. By way of, like, all this, including Little Chubby. Man, Mr. Boom, stop showing up! Mr. Boom, 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 I don't want you in my room! But I'm pretty sure that I'm just gonna go straight to Blue Baby after this fight, so I might as well just take Mr. Boom. There's no reason not to. It should be upgrade, that's beautiful. So I'll leave the D6 behind. Even though it served me well. It's a free bomb, that's all it is. Start off here, I suppose. 
Look at this. This is just a work of art. The masterpiece known as Blue Baby El Dimizio. Well, you had to throw in some Italian somewhere, am I right? Well, the fractured or broken Italian, but who cares? Maybe the Italians care, but they don't care about my feelings, so why should I care about theirs? And little Chubby was just hovering in that ball for no reason. And there we go, we had another successful run. So in the next episode, I'll probably have the challenge run started. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.